Hey guys, how you doing? It's KL. Decided to come on and do a video blog for today. I did a little video earlier just saying thank you for everyone that's been supporting my workouts. But this one is about a particular thing. Well, in general. It's about the release or the soon to be released, my soon to be released third book called Lukewarm Saint. And um, I will have the cover pop up as you're watching the video. Lukewarm Saint was originally a story that was in an anthology that I was asked to contribute to, Soldiers of the Cross. Soldiers of the Cross, excuse me. Shout out to Allison Dees and David Isaiah Paul and Maurice Gray. And I decided, <clears throat> I decided to take the story and make it my next book. And I'm excited. And Lukewarm Saint is, or will be, my first novella. I want to say a novel, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough words. We'll say my first fictional novel. And I am excited and I am nervous at the same time. Now, I will take the first part first. I'm excited because writing a fictional novel is something that I always wanted to do. And I sat down and I got it done. And I'm excited to see my name on the cover of a book for the third time and know that it is me and that I am actually publishing it through my company, Braven Publishing. It will be number 17. We've actually published and worked with 14 authors and three of my books, so 17. So I am elated about that. But now the real point of this blog <clears throat> I am also scared. Um, you know, people say you have nothing to be fearful of. Well, I do. Because I, I fear failure. I, who wants to fail? And I know that I stepped out of my comfort zone to write this book with no previous reference to, I can't say I wrote any, <clears throat> any other books. You have to excuse me, I got a little horse today. I didn't write any other fictional books. Now, I've wrote fictional works that were received well. But it's different when you're talking about 40,000 words, 50,000 words, and hoping that you told a, a good enough story that a person doesn't feel like they were shafted when they purchased your work. Now, I, I put some feelers out there, and I've gotten some great responses, but you never know what a book's going to do before you release it. So I decided... I'm just going to put it out there. Now, the release date has not been set yet, and um, it'll be sometime in the fall. I'm just going over some of the things on the interior that I have to tighten up, little rewrites here and there, but I'm not trying to be perfect because that can drive you crazy. That's a whole nother blog. But um, like I said, I'm excited and I'm nervous because I am attempting to get the stories that are in my head down on paper. And I have a lot. And I want to do something every six months to a year, put something else new out, because I want to create a catalog that I'm proud of, a catalog that when someone looks me up, wow, look at all these interesting books. And hopefully a catalog that someone bigger than me will say, he needs our backing to get those books into more people's hands. Because I'm going to do everything I can. But there's always someone out there that can help get you to markets that you can't get to on your own. And that's always a hope and dream of mine. So when you're looking at this blog, pray for me. And just pray that the excitement overtakes the fear. Pray that the book is successful and that the book helps. Now, the book itself, an educator, hmm, torn between his lustful feelings and the ladies that he loves to be with and a feeling that's been gripping at him. And he's kind of torn between the two. And like most men, when they're torn between their feelings, he searches out mom and grandmother to try to help make sense of it. And they start to explain his history and, and things like that. 
He also has two friends, one that was a drug dealer turned Christian and one who's a club owner who basically the club owner feels there's nothing wrong with bedding down as many women as you like. His Christian brother is trying to get him to change his lifestyle because he knows that it is not the way to live and that you, you just can't keep disrespecting God. And if I haven't said, this is a Christian fiction novella, but it's not churchy. And I don't want to be out of disrespect for any of my church folks. This is not set in church. This is set in, in a, with a real life situation that I believe people go through. And the church is the cloak. The church, the church is there. But I, I think those in the church and those in the outside of church will enjoy the read. So I'm not going to exclude anybody. Um, there's some twist or a twist that's going to push the story in one way or the other and will shape the way the reader takes uh, away what the reader takes away from it. So I'm just like I said, I'm excited and I'm nervous. But either way, I believe that you're going to enjoy the lukewarm saint. And yes, a lukewarm saint. Anybody in the Christian faith knows that the Lord does not want anyone to be lukewarm. You don't, you're either hot or you're cold. No in between. Well, Kevin Watkins, the, the, the gentleman, the, the lead character in my story, he's a lukewarm saint. You're going to have to find out why. So I want you to stay tuned. The book will be coming out soon. I'll put the release information out here on the blog and on my Facebook page, uh, KL Belvin facebook.com and then the, the pre-order information will go out and, you know i know some people don't like to pre-order because they're like what if you run away with my money and i don't get my book it's all understandable if you want to wait till the book is out fine if you want to pre-order there will be a discount if you pre-order but if you want to wait it's not a problem the beauty about owning your own company is i don't have to stress someone looking over my shoulder how i deal with folks who read the books and how they purchase them i set the details and i deal with it that way but definitely keep on the lookout for Lukewarm Saint. You'll see the cover again um, in this message. And pass on the information because, again, the book only becomes a success when readers like yourself pass that information on to others. Let them know who I am because as an independent author and an independent publisher, I need folks talking about me, which helps drive the sales to it. And hopefully quality products do that also. And if you haven't, make sure that you pick up From Gigolo to Jesus, my memoir. Um, outstanding book and has done incredible, incredibly well for me because it has opened up doors for me that I would not have been able to open up on my own. It has helped more people than I thought it was going to. And that's what I set out to write the book for. And I am proud of my effort. Um, I think I've grown as a writer since the book came out and I'm excited to see where I'm going. So if you haven't read From Gigolo to Jesus, please do. And if you haven't read any of the books that I'm a part of, I'm not gonna sit here and run them all down in this blog. Go to www.bravenpublishing.com and you will see all the books that I am a part of. They're also on my website, klbelvin.com. And um, make sure you share this with other folks. And I wanna say thank you. And I hope that you will be ready to mark your calendars when I set the release date of a lukewarm, the lukewarm saint, a lukewarm, a lukewarm, a lukewarm saint. I actually none of the, the prefixes. It's lukewarm saint. And I love the cover. Uh, Gregory Graphics did the cover. Fantastic cover. Less is more. I believe that the, the, the cover art exemplifies what the book is about. And yes, it's to leave you guessing a little bit. And I enjoy that. So again, let me say thank you. Look out for the book and make sure that you leave your email here on the blog so this way you can get all the information that goes out. Hit me up on Facebook, KL Belvin. I'm on Twitter, author KL Belvin, at author KL Belvin, and Braven Books. And if you need to reach me to have me come and speak or anything like that, reach out at info at bravenpublishing.com. Our office phone number is also on the website. Feel free to hit me up. I would love to come and speak and whatever you need. Take care. God bless.